Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. Allahümme fa'ni bimi allamteni ve allimni bimi yinfa'ni ve zidni ilman innekel alimul hakim. Allahümme akhrizna min zulumatil vahim ve akhrizna bi nuhil fahim. Wafta alayna bi ma'rifetil ilim ve sihil akhlaqina bil hilm. اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين. My short talk today is about CT or fatty liver disease. Here this is a CT image of fatty liver disease in this axial non-contrast study. We see the liver density here is less than the splenic density. And we see the blood vessels are more denser than the liver tissue. This it is in keeping with fatty liver changes. The normal density of the liver is about 55 to 65 Hansfield unit, and the splenic density is about 10 Hansfield unit less than the liver. If the liver density is less than 48 or 45, and some authors it is considered is less than 40, it is considered to be fatty changes. But it is better to use the liver, liver to splenic ratio. If the ratio less than the 0.8 and this considered to be about 30% of liver fatty changes or liver stetosis. In some studies if the density of the liver it is about uh, 64 plus minus three and there is no suggestion of stetosis and if the liver density is about 59 plus minus seven the stetosis is between one percent to 25 percent and in another study there, if the liver density is about 41 Hansfield unit plus minus 6.7, the stetosis percentage is about 26 to 50 percent. And if the liver density is about 25 plus minus 15 each Hansfield unit, the stetosis Stetosis percentage is about 50%, more than 50%. So we considered the hepatic attenuation compared to the spleen, where the spleen, where the liver to spleen attenuation less than 0.8 represent about more than 30% of stetosis in as a quantitative. analysis with a sensitivity of 73% to 83% and specificity is about 100%. Sometimes coexisting disease that increase the liver density like in hematosis or other diseases will affect the fat 
inside the barring chamber and limit the accuracy of CT scan. Double energy CT scan has been used also to evaluate the stetosis. and has good results. Thank you very much for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik.